Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Auditor, and the other day someone wrote me and said, hey, I downloaded this file from your website, and it's a virus, um, you know, just want to let you know, and I'm like, okay, it's not a virus, and I want to, in this video, demonstrate some of the misconceptions about auto hotkey, auto hotkey files, viruses, you know, how they check things, um, and really what's going on here, so uh, it's, it's a really interesting thing, is because for the most part, virus software doesn't really understand what software is doing. It's much more of a reputation type of thing than it is inspecting the file and analyzing what gets done, right? The problem is, like, let's pay, pick uh, airplanes. Airplanes are incredibly powerful, right? They can do a lot of good stuff. We're like at 9-11. They can do some terrible things. Auto hockey is the same way, and people realize auto hockey is really powerful, but they can't peek inside it, and they can't see is it hijackers or is it a normal pilot that's driving it, right? So like they just don't know. So they throw up this thing saying it's a virus. Um, so let me demonstrate here. Uh, and first off, we're going to start. Let's drag the AutoHotKey U32. Uh, this is version 1.1.36.0.1. I should get 0.2, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. This one's been around for about a week and a half, I think. So I'm going to drag it on here. The virus total is from Google. It goes across apparently 72 virus checkers. Now, this was incredibly fast because virus total has seen this before. So it doesn't do the check. It just says, hey, we know that hash. We know what it is. This is your score, right? Apparently, two, these two, let's grab those. Uh, this, this, by the way, is my sipping tool. I'll put the URL in here. This is what the person wrote me and said, this is a virus. And I'm like, yeah, it's, trust me, it's not a virus. Anyway, so there are two that got reported as malicious, you know, and, and the detected malware, which again, like, well, you know, it's it's not, but um, okay. So here's the fun part. Here's, by the way, if you don't know this about AutoHotKey, it is by far like any language I've ever found. When you go to compile it, it is the simplest and easiest. So first off, this demo virus.txt this is all that's in it is just persistent now we're going to change that it's amazing auto hockey is just plain text right so i have it as a text file i'm going to change the extension to be ahk the problem is i just haven't configured explorer to be able to peek inside it so um, we can we can uh edit this file and we'll see again all that's there it just says persistent right that's it so let me close that now i can right click on this thing and say compile script that will use my default editor, uh, and let's just do it to show how easy it is, right? So that just created this virus.exe. We can get rid of this. So that used my default version of Auto Hotkey. However, um, we could test this, and I'm, I'm going to test it, just not from compiling it that way. I'm going to right click and say compile script GUI. Now this is going to allow me to pick and choose which version and you know bitness of auto hotkey. So this is the same thing, version um, Unicode 32. Now I'm going to convert. Successfully compiled. So here it is, and let's let's rename this U32. Okay, so that's just letting us know what we compiled it with. Now. I'm gonna do all these in a row. I'm gonna right click, actually, we don't have to go, we can come back to here. I'm gonna add compression. Let's add impress. There's my output. Well, I'll just change it after. Okay, it's compiled. Now this one was the U32 impress. So I'm just creating a couple different versions of this so we can see the scores when we take these to virus total. So with auto hotkey, it's kind of fake compiling in that it takes the executable, which I happen to have here, but it's grabbing it from where I have it installed, and it slaps it together with my script right here and packages them together and puts them in a way, because I don't know if you know this, you can uh, take your script and just drag it on top of an executable and it will launch it. So right now that script is running. Um, so you don't actually have to compile it. This is also why I don't compile stuff. It's just I have it in this format. But... Um, what we're doing is we're compiling them, and now it it has this executable, this one, because I made it with these two, in there with it, with this script, right? So when I drag, so this had a, a, a the original U32 had a score of 2 out of 72, right? So I'm going to take this first one. This is now my script, which actually, I think if I drag this here, I think it'll actually accept it and give it a, a, a zero because it, nothing recognizes it.
and there's really nothing in it, right? So there's, and no one's ever seen it before. So it does take a couple seconds. We're getting through there. Almost done. And there we go. So zero out of 61. So on its own, virus total is saying, hey, this thing is nothing, right? It's fine. There's no problems with it. No malicious activity. This is simply a combination of this and this, right? So I'm going to drag this into here. Confirm upload. And here's where we're going to see something to me really, really interesting is suddenly some of these guys will start flagging it as a virus. So here's the max score rising. Remember, we had these two initially, right? These two, so secure age and black pro. So now we're up to five, which still isn't horrible. However, the other ones didn't detect a darn thing when we did this one, right, on its own. It was after we combined it with this, and, you know, those are combined in the compiled version uh, into this one that we got five. Now let's take it with Impress. Now Impress is an encoder and it basically makes it um, obfuscates things and makes it harder to peek inside. And a lot of people that use Auto Hotkey are worried people are going to steal their code because if I just was to get this file, I can basically decompile it and see the code that's there. So I might want to use Impress to make it harder for people to peek inside, right? So let's drag this one onto here. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Let's grab this. So this was five. The first one was two. And let's see how many now with the Impress version. And so this is just where, again, the virus total does peek inside the files clearly because it's changing the scores and the ratings. And I shouldn't say virus total because it's running it through all these 72 different um, antivirus stuff. Look at how many more it's getting flagged at now, right? Because we used Impress to compress it, right? And that's where virus total is looking at things in the file and basically saying, hey, other people who have reported this kind of pattern in code, they have had viruses, so I'm going to score it higher. Again, it knows nothing about what's actually in the code other than seeing some sort of stuff that looks similar to something else that was a virus, right? So here we got 12 out of 72 instead of the five for just the original, and then, of course, nothing with, with just the plain one without it. And the auto hotkey one had two. So this hopefully gives you an idea. This is also why I don't compile my scripts and distribute them is because when I was putting them on my website, theautomator.com, um, I was getting flagged as a malicious software website. And it was just really annoying because I'm like, it's not, you know, I don't distribute viruses. Now, can AutoHotKey be a virus? Sure, absolutely. But it depends what someone has put into the code. Right. So the, the important part is trust the source who gave it to you. You know, it, it, hey, if you can get the decompiled version, get just the script and peek inside it and take a look at what's there. We have a tool I'll put it up here that helps you do that. It'll help peek inside and flag, you know, certain types of behaviors that are often, you know, used by uh, scammers and, and virus people. But again, they can be used for really good things too. You need to pay attention to what's going on and, and everything. So it's, it's just much more complicated. But the fact is, if you get an auto hockey script and you download it, it gets flagged as a virus. In my experience, the odds are much better that it's not a virus. Um, it's just getting flagged because people are afraid because auto hockey is really powerful. So I hope that helps. If you liked that and learned something, please like the video. It really helps me out. Uh, we're the largest auto hockey channel out there. We publish at least twice a week. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. We release videos. Uh, on, you know, things with automation and how to use AutoHotKey and other languages, but mostly AutoHotKey. So hope to see you around. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.